Right, this video is going to talk about how lightning works. And this is a, again, this is a weather meteorology type uh, video that's related to physics. And so let's talk about that. Let's talk about lightning. Um, there's all different types of lightning. There's cloud to cloud, cloud to ground, ground to cloud. I'm just going to talk about the typical uh, cloud to ground lightning. So let's say you have a thunderstorm cloud here. And uh, there's the ground down here. So on the ground, say there's a person down here on the ground. And the ground is typically a positive charge, at least at the surface, in terms of what electrons want to see. And so when you have a storm, uh, basically you have a bunch of charged particles and that storm starts to rise up like this and the particles can move around within this uh, this storm here so you have negative charges and positive charges so what's going to happen is you're going to get something called separation of charge where the negatives are going to come down to the surface here of the storm and the positives are going to be repelled and they're going to go up here so you know Think about it like this, you know, positives could be boys, negatives could be girls, however you want to do it. So down here you have boys down here on the surface or the positive charges. So in the storm, all the girls want to come down to see the boys because the negatives are attracted to the positives, right? So the charge separates and they're going to be attracted, the opposite is going to be attracted. What's going to happen is this, the, this, this is going to continue to occur, this separation of charge. And there's air here, right? So air is not really a good conductor, but anything can become a good conductor if there's enough voltage. And the volt and voltage um, is basically going to be that we talked about it like pressure. And we we measure the electric field in something called volts per meter. And the electric field is the direction that a positive charge would flow. So what happens is the field of this interaction starts to increase in strength. So the electric field. I'm drawing this up because the field is the direction that a positive charge would go. But that electric field starts to get really strong, right? And so that electric field gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, kind of like a capacitor in a lot of ways, if you see like on a circuit. And then eventually um, what will happen here is you will get a lightning strike and it will come down to the ground. Okay, and again, the negative charges go against this field, so the negative charges are going to stream down here to the ground, okay, and they're going to flow in this direction like this, because the negative charges flow against the field. When that occurs, okay, and it hits the ground, a lot of times it looks like it starts to light up from the ground and go go this way, okay, and that's simply because that's where it makes contact and it lights up, right? It makes like a light you know and then that's where the heat occurs and it travels back up right so when that heat occurs it's hotter than the sun hotter than the surface of the sun and when the air expands you get thunder so you get thunder when the air expands air expands and it kind of looks backwards like I said even though the electrons can stream down sometimes it looks like it's going back up simply because that's where it makes the contact first and then it just shoots back up kind of think about it like this if you had like a fire right let's say you had a fire here and I was just here uh, with a gas can right and I was pouring gas onto that fire say that there's gasoline and I'm pouring gasoline onto that fire the, which direction is the gasoline flowing? The gasoline is flowing down, right? Obviously, it's flowing down like the electrons. But if that caught fire and it could travel back up that stream of gasoline, let's just say it would travel back up this way as it caught fire as it went back up, right? So kind of think of it like that. Um, and that's just one way. I mean, there's different types of lightning. I mean, there's there's ground to cloud. There's cloud to cloud. Different clouds will will, will, will do that. But this is the basic concept of lightning, that these electrons are going to try to go into the ground when, a, when the electric field is strong enough. Um, and, you know, anything near the ground, what's going to happen is it's going to cause it to pick up an extra positive charge if there's a person down here, because, uh, you know, simply that you're going to have that same same concept here. So a lightning rod will pick up an extra positive charge, a person will pick up an extra positive charge uh, if it's near the ground. So this is why it's kind of dangerous to have tall objects because they will get an induced uh, positive charge uh, because of this charge separation that occurs in the cloud. 
So that's basically how it works. It's physics, it's separation of charge, it's going to discharge, it's very much like a big capacitor, it just has a sudden release of energy, the expansion of the air is the thunder, and uh, that's basically it.